Welcome <laughs> to my League Starter Showcase. First of all, small disclaimer. I'd like to bait you all into this that this is good. I don't know if it's good or not. Honestly, <laughs> this is not um, my League Starter, not really. This is a very old build I played a few years back. I was very proud that it worked because I built it all myself. Um, so, yeah. This video not gonna be about any. Oh, I play this league starter so good, so good. You crush and tell a league. No, 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 no. This league starter is only. I'm only talk about what I play, why I play it, my thoughts on this, and the entire reasoning is because it's fun for me. Because it's fun. I don't care about all the rest. It is fun for me. It excites me. This is why I play it. I don't care how good it works, how efficient it is or not. I'm just gonna play it. So. Cut the cut the crab. Can I say this? If I think of crab, the the animal is fine, I guess, because it's Ramadan. But <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna play. Or this is rather my final idea. I want to play Flicker Strike Discharge. However, this will not to work as a <laughs> league starter. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it does, but I didn't dig into it deep enough to. I, I would have looked a lot of stuff up. So I'm starting a bit different, and I'm. Still starting with Discharge. I will dis pick Discharge up as soon as I can in the campaign. Now, if this is new for you, I can't say this is my idea because it's a very old leveling technique actually. Because Discharge actually is a very beautiful skill. I mean, look at this base damage here. Look at this base damage. Well, that's almost 2k, I mean, if you look at the maximum amount, but almost 2k lightning damage, fire damage, cold damage per charge. Uh, meaning lightning damage per power charge, obviously, but per charge, what is that? What is that? So you do get some more charge and more damage, easy scaling. Then, on top of that, on top of that, effectiveness of added damage 600%. Oh, please, sir, please. Sir. This is an extremely great spell. And what it makes it even greater is 15% more, not increased, more area of effect per charge removed. So you want to stack charges and you'll be good, even if you have plus no charges if you have only your base three charges this skill is good for leveling it is i think the problem with this charge is because if you look it up uh, on pure ninja the current league i only find 48 characters and most of them if not all of them try to uh, not all of them probably not this guy but um, most of them try to scale the damage as high as possible and i think this is the uh, well the vast idea that people have about discharge the problem that comes with it is that you see the same archetype of items, or even the same items all over again. The same uniques, and if it's not a unique, it's the plus one power charges helmet. Ev either the cheap one with a <sighs> mod, or corrupted, right? Always these two ones, always a ring. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? Excuse me. You cannot have this ring. I want this. <laughs> Give me. How beautiful is that? Uh, how beautiful! You cannot... <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Anyway. It's all the same uniques. This makes it kind of boring, I think. And if you look at the effective health pool... 22k, 11k, I mean... I don't know. You probably one-shot bosses, but if you come to mapping, if you come to exploring the game... Not the best idea, I think. I don't know how fast these builds are, even. But, uh, yeah. Now, Flicker Strike Discharge. I actually found one person that played this. I was a bit excited to see what this guy is up to, but <laughs> sadly... <laughs> he has Discharge linked with his Castle Death support. <laughs> so yeah, we forgot about this guy. Maybe it works, maybe it works, I don't know. I mean, there is a strategy, right? But Yeah, well... <laughs> anyway... So, Flicker Strike Discharge, this is gonna be not my end... Yeah, this is gonna be my end game. Uh, I'll start off with Discharge Spellslinger. However, nobody plays Spellslinger Discharge. Why should I do this though? Let me explain. Spellslinger, really great. If you don't know how this works, and I think this is gonna be big this league, because this league has this new intelligence support gemme. Sacred Wisp. Supports attack skills that can be used with wands. <clears throat> Summon Sacred Wisp is triggered. Summon Sacred Wisp, so Wisp are triggered by supported skills to summon sacred wisp oh wait i just okay summon sacred wisp is triggered by supported skills to summon sacred wisp which use the triggering 
skill when you do. So if you throw fireball with your wands, you summon those guys and those will also um, shoot out fireball, right? Nice. I see how, how good this is, but the spell slinger, the, the big idea here is that Okay, it reserves somewhat of your mana, this is kind of the downside, but therefore, every time you attack with your wand, you trigger the spell linked with Spell Slinger. Huh? As you can see here, um, this is Frenzy. Okay, Frenzy. Frenzy is my wand attack. So, I could jump out and go default attack with my wand. And if I default attack, I discharge. Default attack, discharge. Because discharge is linked with Spell Slinger. Of course, I lose some more damage. This is the downside because I Spell Slinger reduces the damage. But also it edits damage because supported skills have added spell damage equal to um, of damage of equipped wands. Now think about it, 100% if I have a wand that has giga amounts of damage, 600% on my discharge, how, how nice is that? Especially when you're leveling low content, this is, this is super nice, this is super nice. So this is a great idea to attack with my wand and trigger discharge. Now cool so far, but where do I get charges? How do I get charges? Because discharge, the only downside to discharge is you need charges. And yeah, where do I get my charges from? In the end game, <coughs> in the end game to get all three charges is somewhat annoying, but it's really simple actually, because <coughs> you use frenzy for frenzy charges. Okay, frenzy. Frenzy is just, instead of my default attack, I use frenzy with my wand, and if I hit an enemy, I get a frenzy charge. Now I can spell sling a hydro spear, for example. Hydro spear creates a spear, and if I, if I attack the spear, I can attack the spear. See? And it explodes when I attack it. Um, and I get frenzy charges if I attack it. Why do I have barrage in here? I don't even know. So I can get my frenzy, link it with, I don't know, m more projectiles or barrage or something, and even if there's no enemy, I can just create a hydro spear and attack that. And I get frenzy charges if I hit it. I just missed this. This is why I'm saying that. So, frenzy for frenzy charges. That is covered, and there are tons of ways to get frenzy charges apart from that. But frenzy charges covered. Power charges. This is the simplest one. This is really the simplest one because, okay, I have hydro spear in here now, so I have my hydro spear here. But uh, what I could do instead was, for example, stormbrand. I put stormbrand in here. So now when I right click, I create the stormbrand here. If you Sorry for my screen to be so full of stuff. I think it's pretty much annoying. If, uh, probably annoying if you watch it, I think. But see, now here's the Arcanist brand. The Arcanist brand is very great because it links to an enemy and then zip, 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 zip. Triggers a lot of times. Triggers very often. And I have it linked with power charge on critical. So I get the power charge. If my brand here crits, I can also use, for example, later with the... Flicker Strike, for example, cast on crit and then Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning zap 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 zap, right? Hits a lot of times as well in Destin with uh, power charge and critical. So I have, I always have power charges. This is super easy, this is super easy to maintain. Um, especially, or even in, in low level campaign leveling. And then for my endurance charges, because endurance charges is the hardest way to get endurance charges without any uniques, except if you use Enduring Cry. Now, Enduring Cry is great because, well, it heals me. It gives me Endurance Charges if there are enemies nearby, because it gives me Endurance Charges based on the power of Enduring Cry, and power is always based on how, how strong are the enemies around you. You could technically go for Red Blade Banner, this, so it always has infinite power, so you always get infinite Endurance Charges, but you don't really need to, because if there's a unique enemy, like a boss, this boss has a lot of power, so you get your maximum endurance charges anyway. And like I said, it heals you, it gives you additional physical damage reduction and er elemental resistances. This is a really great spell. What's even greater is that this is a really old build. Don't look at my tree, it's so outdated, it's so old. I don't even know how it's still... How it's still I don't know. <laughs> it's years old. <laughs> yeah, look at this, what is that? <laughs> but um, this one, Call to Arms, using Warcrest as instant. Gets removed, right? And you might think, oh... Why? <laughs> but no, 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 it's great because as you can see, how many points did I waste here to go in here? Now I don't have to do that because there's this new skill called. Is it automation? Is it that? No. It's call to arms, right? Call to arms is now the new strength skill gem. Call to arms, while this skill is active, supported war cries will be repeatedly triggered. So I link my war cry, my enduring cry with this, and enduring cry will all always just trigger. Poof. 
I don't know in what frequency, how how long it takes. I didn't look into that, but probably poof, poof, poof. Perhaps a bit slower than that. I don't know, but I will always get my dune charges. I will always get my healing, or I can just use it with my own. Can I do that? Wait. Is there a replacement for Warcrest to be instant without that? I don't know, I'll look into that, but yeah, I will use Endurance Cry while leveling, it heals me, it's great for leveling, it gives me Endurance Charges, perfect, 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 friends, you know, friends, Charges, and Power Charge, and crit for my Power Charges. Until I have enough currency or plate enough that I can get Ferals for, or Replicas Ferals for, or Badge of the Brotherhood, or Voice Devotion, right? That is the main idea of this build. Spell Slinger Discharge, you can play this in your story, you can play this with any ascendancy, it doesn't really matter, you can play this, it's fun. If you know the drill a bit, where you get your stuff and how to execute it correctly, I like it a lot. Now, the pro side, because you might be wondering, okay, you're attacking with a wand, you always stop moving when you do this, so what's the co pro here? The pro is that if this build would have been min-maxed, this charge would cover my entire screen. So, even though I'm standing still and I'm attacking with my wand here, Technically, every time this gets ready, and this gets ready every 1.45 seconds at the moment, every 1.45 seconds my entire screen would be clear of monsters, because it would one-shot everything. Nice. Okay. But, this one is, uh, what is this even? How is this ascendancy called even? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Some old, old grandpa. How is my character called? Brightness settings low. Ah, uh, yeah. I remember why I called him that. <laughs> anyway, I just put together a really bad pub but i'm i'm gonna play slayer why do i choose to play slayer because and this is the technology while slayer people play um discharge simply because of masterful form your maximum endurance charges is equal to your maximum frenzy charges right so i don't have to skill any plus one to maximum endurance charges on my tree i don't because all the frenzy charges i have will be converted to endurance charges at first this is somewhat a benefit but as soon as i what am I opening up here? As soon as I'm acquiring anyone, please have this unique. As soon as I'm acquiring Badge of the Brotherhoods, your maximum frenzy charges is equal to your maximum power charges. This means I don't have to care for frenzy. Frenzy. Can I speak? I don't have to care for frenzy or power charges. Ah, uh, for frenzy or endurance charges because my maximum power charges now is equal to my maximum frenzy charges is equal to my maximum endurance charges. Actually, the other way around. But yeah, if I have 13 power charges, I then have 13 frenzy and endurance charges because of my ascendancy in this one. Nice. Um, this is what I'm gonna do later on. Later on, I will probably not pick up this frenzy note here and this one and only go for the power charge nodes let's see how this goes i don't have a tree yet for the final version but as for leveling i will just pick up all the power and frenzy charges and skill some health and spell suppression along the way and see where it goes right this is my initial approach here and i'm only picking up slayer actually for this note like i said but there are new there's some twists that i kind of liked that i didn't um, thought of before so even if I'm playing Flicker Strike, or let's say I play not Flicker Strike yet, but Spell Slinger, I don't really care about attack damage these leeches life or increase attack damage. I don't care for this. I don't care for this, right? Do I care for this? Not yet really, because the life leech doesn't if I attack with my wand it's so little it doesn't really matter to me. However, this one. Twenty percent of overkill damage is leeches life. So, okay, if I'm fighting bosses, this doesn't do a lot, but in maps, I always one-shot everything with my ditch discharge and overkill it by millions of damage, probably. So I'm always, I'm always leeching. Could be super cool, could be completely useless, I'll see about that. <laughs> but yeah, this is my initial idea, let's check. Yeah, charge generation, we have this. This is my bad POB that I will probably adjust further on. This is an entirely different content. Red Blade Banner, I talked about this. Discharge build, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spell Slinger, Batch of the Brotherhood, Patch Notes. Yeah, everything is covered. 40 minutes, I'll take that. This is my leak charge. Spell Slinger Discharge. I will make updating videos as soon as the leak starts, so maybe you can laugh at me day two if I'm still stuck in campaign. <laughs> nah, that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, but yeah, this is what I play. See you in leak. And. Uh, have a wonderful extent because I think this my ah uh, let's see about that but have a wonderful extent yeah bye.